Well, hi everybody. I'm talking to Neil Rice. Neil, you work for Nordic Semiconductor and you've just attended Distributec, which my understanding is is the largest event for the energy industry in the US. Um, the event's attended by utility companies, service providers, EPCs and government officials. Now, DEC 10 r Plus was on display at Distributec. Can you give us a short overview of how DEC 10 r Plus was shown and what sort of reactions and comments you received and from what type of potential customers? Yeah, that's right, Vince. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, Distributech is a, is a very important show uh, within the Americas for the smart grid industry. And uh, we were pleased to partner uh, with Warpass, uh, a Nordic Semiconductor partner, to demonstrate DECDNR Plus for the first time live in North America at a show focused very much on the use cases for DECDNR Plus in the smart grid industry. The smart grid industry is going through a tremendous transition at the minute, uh, particularly with decarbonization efforts requiring significant more intelligence within the grid, at endpoints within a meter, at sensors distributed throughout distribution pipeline chains. So it's very important to add that extra intelligence into the network um, to allow utilities to manage and distribute loads, to react to uh, external events that may impact the uh, the changing load in their networks and provide high service and high reliability to their customers. Deck Down R Plus is actually ideal for this. It has a number of the criteria that allow it to be a 5G standard, the MMTC, the ability to have many, many hundreds of thousands of millions of nodes concentrated in an area. That's very suitable for the kind of use cases that we often see at utility metering endpoints, electric meters, or or other street lighting or other associated smart city applications. But it also has a, a, a very low latency, the URLLC component of the standard, which allows it to react quickly in command and control situations to specific incidents that might be happening in the grid. One of the discussion points at Distributech was reaction to wildfires. Uh, there are many issues with transmission line breakage where a, a conductor falls to the ground and ignites vegetation around that. The rapid response that the URLLC capabilities of Deck Downer Plus offers presents some opportunities for utilities to prevent these kind of catastrophic events using the technology. And in general, NR Plus as a reliable, self-healing, uh, high, high nines, uptime capability is extremely attractive to those utilities and to those uh, service providers and system integrators that provide hardware and system solutions for the utilities in the smart grid industry. So overall, would you say there were positive reactions from the people who you met with at Distributech? Yeah, very positive. Um, I think Deck Down R Plus uh, was something that is only just coming onto the radar of both the system integrators and the utilities. And I think this event at Distributech between Nordic and Warpass was a great way to help raise awareness uh, and, and start the journey of Deck 10 R Plus within that. There are other um, mesh and other technologies that exist within the smart grid space, but none of them offer the range coverage, bandwidth, reliability, self-healing capability, and standardization capability that Deck 10 R Plus offers. And I think that's very attractive to both utilities and the system integrators. We had many, many utility providers stop by learning for the first time about Deck Down R Plus and seeing a live network. And I think that was uh, that's a big step forward for Deck Down R Plus and, and the standard. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. It sounds like it was a great show. And thank you for your time today telling us all about the event. Thank you, Vince.